Jakarta Server Pages, which used to be called Java Server Pages, is a Java standard technology that developers use to write dynamic, data-driven web pages for Java web applications. JSP is a Java web technology that is built on top of the Java servlet, also called Jakarta servlet, specification. It is one of the Java web technologies that are supported and updated in Jakarta EE. Most of the time, JSP and servlets work together, especially in older Java web apps. From a coding point of view, the most obvious difference between JSP and servlets is that with servlets, you write Java code and then embed client-side markup, like HTML, into that code. With JSP, you start with the script or markup on the client side. Then, you add JSP tags to your page to connect it to the Java backend. You can think of JSP as a way to write markup that can talk to the backend. Markup like HTML is usually sent to the client, whereas JavaScript lets it talk to the backend server. JSP pre-processes the HTML with special commands to access and use server capabilities. It then sends the compiled page to the client. Both JSP and JSF JSP is very similar to JSP. JSF, which stands for Jakarta Server Faces, formerly Java Server Faces. JSF is a Java standard for building web applications that use the model view controller, MVC, pattern. It is what Java web frameworks like Eclipse Mahara, MyFaces, and PrimeFaces use as a standard. Facelets is the preferred view technology for modern JSF implementations. JSP is sometimes used as the front end for older JSF applications. Is JSP still used by developers? JSP is still used for some apps by developers. It's not as advanced as Jamstack or a template engine like Timeleaf, but sometimes it's best to keep things simple. JSP is a key part of the Java web platform. We can build JSP pages quickly and easily as developers, and they work well with servlets in a servlet container like Tomcat. You could say that JSP is like PHP and ASP in the .NET world. But for Java, older Java web applications will use JSP. You might still use it from time to time to build simple, dynamic Java web pages. You should know what JSP is and how to use it in your programs if you are a Java developer. Writing JSP pages A simple JSP page has HTML markup and JSP tags inside it. The end of a JSP file is .jsp. The JSP server, which is also called a JSP container, is set up to send an HTTP request to a certain JSP page, which is then in charge of displaying an HTTP response. When the request comes in, the server reads the file and turns the HTML into the application view which is a web page. The JSP tags will be used to call code and data on the server. The end result of a JSP is plain HTML that the client browser can understand without any changes. Servlet container with JSP JSP pages must be deployed inside a servlet container. To deploy a Java web application based on JSP and servlets, you will package your .JSP files, Java code, and application metadata in a WAR file which is a simple .zip file with a standard structure for web applications. The JSP will be turned into a servlet once you load it into your servlet container. Both JSPs and servlets can access and respond to request objects, which is something else they have in common. Application Server versus Servlet Container A servlet container, which is also called a web server, is like a light beer version of an application server in the Java world. A servlet container handles request and response interactions and lets these interactions talk to a subset of Java Enterprise capabilities for web applications. The servlet container is part of the full Java Enterprise stack, which also includes EJB, JPA, JMS, and more. This stack is part of a Java application server. How to work with JSP in Tomcat. We'll show you how to use Jakarta server pages with a sample application in Tomcat. If you haven't already installed Tomcat, go to the Tomcat download page and choose the version of Tomcat that works with your operating system. The Jakarta standard tag library, JSTL, the line that says import is called taglib, which is short for tag library. We've brought in the Jakarta standard tag library in this case, JSTL. Tag libraries define pieces of JSP functionality that can be used more than once. JSTL is the standard tag library. It is made up of taglibs that come with every servlet and JSP implementation, including Tomcat. 